All right, so uh, right, so here we have the profile that has been refactored in such a way that uh, it doesn't need to have the user ID encoded in the URL right, because that context information uh, already lives in the session on the server side. Right, so there's no need for the client side for the browser right, to maintain that state. Right, it's already maintained on the server side. Uh, now the websites is still um, requiring us to encode that state information in the URL, right? And we can uh, refactor this uh, to use the same exact um, mechanism as we did for the profile, right? So, so to refactor it, we can. What we'd like to be able to do is be able to navigate to the website just by hitting slash website because the user ID is implied, right? The user identity is implied on the server side, right? There's no need to explicitly mention it here on the client, okay? Uh, so if we go back to the config here, uh, we can refactor this right, by removing the, uh, the, the URL that includes the user ID, and then, and then again, using the resolve, uh, to go fetch the user identity from the server, right? So to grab the identity from the server instead of encoding it uh, in the in the client. So let's grab that and let's do the same thing here. There it is. Use the same exact uh, a query to go to the server, right? And fetch the user identity, right? And then on the on the website, the controller for the website. Um, views the website controllers website list uh, again I can inject the currently logged in user current user there it is right it's the same current user that we are resolving right right here whatever whatever the user service logged in um, resolves to it's being injected right here so we no longer have to do this, right? We don't, we don't need this anymore. Right? This will be current user dot underscore ID. Right? And wh wherever we have uh, any need for the user, let's see, anywhere else, I think that's it. That's the only place where we need the user ID. Okay? Uh, and if we uh, just refresh this, uh, it didn't work. Wait, what? Current. Thank you. There it is, right? So we have now refactored right, the website uh, list so that it doesn't need to know who the user ID is. Right? All the other ones can be, um, it can be uh, um, refactored the same way. Right? So, so, so one of, one of the, one of the uh, things that you need to do for this assignment right, is remove the need for, uh, you know, the, the need for having the user uh, ID encoded on the client side. Everything else, right? Uh, as we navigate to the uh, to the pages, right? Notice that uh, the page the page. Uh, I guess we didn't implement that. How about edit? Did we do, did we do edit? Notice that the edit still has the user ID encoded in there, right? Again, we can just remove it easily. I would like to be able to go into the website edit just by typing that. And we can implement that really quick by being able to um, just add the um, this resolve in the website edit website edit. I think it's this one, right? And then we don't need the user ID anymore. And then implement the controller for that. So that's website edit. And now we have the current user. Uh, that we can inject here, current user, uh, and then we can retrieve the current user ID just from the from the logged in user. And I believe that's the only place where we need the user ID. Okay. Also, no, notice the uh, the delete. See that the delete? We need to fix that because anywhere where we have a user ID, we don't need it.
Right? There's no need for it. Right? So let's uh, let's try it again. There it is. I can um, edit that website. Uh, why is this not coming back? I'm sorry? For the... Oh, yes, thank you. Just making sure you're awake. Uh, that still didn't work. Uh, rejection, da -da 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 -da. Uh, network, website logged in. Did that come back? That's Po. Um, website logged in. Website here. So website. Wait, did? Uh oh. Ah! <laughs> Website, refresh, and then edit. Oh, we never changed that, right? So we need to change that too. Oh, okay, yeah, we, didn't, we never changed the, uh, the template that renders the list of websites. So website list here. Right, no longer needs this, um, this, these user IDs right here, right? We don't need that anymore. Like that. Let's see, let's refresh. You have that? Uh, website. Why are you not displaying that? I thought I did. Um, let's look at um, website controller, website edit. Let's come in here, current user. And come in here, let's see. Uh, we have the user ID, there it is. Uh, website ID, do we have website ID? We do. Uh, website ID, oh, is this using the old implementation? Oh, we never, we never fixed this, right? These, these are not, these are not uh, asynchronous calls, right? This is still ex ex expecting the arrays, right? So I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fix that. Uh, but I should be able. Okay, so the delete looks like we uh, we did fix. So can I delete this? Yeah, it deletes right? and navigates back to the list of websites uh, with that website removed. So that worked. Okay. All right. So let's uh, let's uh, keep working on this. We need to now check to see if we can log out. Right. Um, so let's let's try out uh, being able to log out. Right, so let's.